Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Quirky Cat Tarot. And this reading is going to be for Libra for the week of November 1st through the 8th. Um, hey Tony. So this reading is for you guys. <laughs> Tower moment. So something broke down here. There was a breakup. Um, it was unexpected. You didn't see it coming. Kind of knocked you off your feet. Brought sorrow and hardship. Tower moments are always, I call them oh crap moments because you don't see them coming. You know, not like with the death card, you know. The death card is also an ending. But this is more unexpected. You didn't see it happening, so. Queen of Pentacles. So she's very stable and secure. Very grounded. Hmm. Eight of Wands. So somebody's coming at you very quickly. This is swift movement. This is indicative of like swift action. So somebody or something is coming towards you very quickly. Very soon. Could be a fire sign with the wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the fool doesn't have care in the world. They're not thinking about anybody really but themselves. They're just kind of doing their own thing, you know? So you're just sashaying off with a little doggy. You know, whatever. <laughs> so I think after the breakup, you were just focused on your pentacles and making your money and your stability and somebody brought you an offer um or is bringing you an offer very quickly but you're not you don't you're not thinking about that right now you're just kind of doing your own thing with the fool card there it's kind of doing you ace of swords that's a new beginning that's an offer Somebody wants to start something with you. Start over with you, possibly. Three of Pentacles. So this could be a couple of different scenarios. One, you're being recognized for your work. You see these guys are standing over here and recognizing his work that he's doing here. Three is also symbolic of three. So there could be a third party involved here. Page of Cups. Pages are messengers. They bring forth uh, offerings and messages. Uh, cups are emotional. So somebody's offering you a relationship or emotional connection. Strength. You're trying to be strong right now. Why are you trying to be strong, Libra? What's going on? <clears throat> Why is Libra trying to be strong? Let's ask the cards. Why is Libra trying to be strong? What does Libra need to be strong about? King of Swords. King of Swords is very head over heart. It's definitely Libra. So you're thinking things over. 
you want to make sure you're not being emotional and irrational. You want to think it through. I think it's going to rain. It's getting really dark out there. <laughs> All right, so. We had a breakup. Okay. Um, you went about your business focusing on your pentacles and your security. And you're just kind of not thinking about the other person. Just kind of doing you. And they're bringing an offer. Sorry. They're bringing you an offer, um, but you're trying to be strong. You want to make sure that you're thinking this out and not just um, being impulsive and emotional. It's okay to feel things, Libra. It's okay. Man, I can't wow. The <laughs> Ace of Cups. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this person is trying to, or you, Libra, could be. Um, wanting to give this person your emotional cup, your relationship. This is, look, it's beautiful. It's a golden cup. It's overflowing. The hand is like, here, take it. There's a peaceful dove up here. I think you want a harmonious partnership with this person, but you're thinking it over and trying to decide if this is, worth the risk but I think you want it yeah the wheel of fortune look at that yeah so you guys had a breakup but you know what goes around comes around and I feel like the energy is reversing I think um you know, you focused on yourself. You took some time for yourself and healed and thought about things and you were being very strong and using your head. I think you're ready for this. And it's, it, you know, the cycle's gonna turn around. It's good things are coming your way. The moon. So the moon is imaginative, sort of dreamy, um, <clears throat> fantasy. You're really thinking about this. You're fantasizing about this and wanting this. But that three of pentacles, tell me about the three of pentacles. Let's clarify the three of pentacles because that's like, what happened there tell me about the three of pentacles for libra tell me about the three of pentacles for libra heartbreak mm -hmm. i think there was a third person involved here i don't know if you broke somebody's heart or if your heart was broken, another three. Yeah. There was somebody on the sidelines here, Libra. And I think it got in between you and your person. And it caused... Okay, well, I'm going to take the first one because that jumped out and then I dropped the other ones. <laughs> but the lovers, yeah. This is you and your soulmate. Uh, the universe wants y'all to be together. That's what that card is. I mean, we got the Ace of Cups. We got, yeah, look, King of Cups. You want to give your cup to this person. This is your soulmate. You know, you're thinking about it. You're wishing it. There was a heartbreak. There was a... 
to tell him on it. You kind of isolated yourself for a little bit and just worked on your finances and your pentacles. You were just kind of doing you, not worrying about a whole lot. I think somebody offered you something and maybe you took it up and there was three of you at one point. But your person wants an emotional connection with you. But you were trying to be strong and trying to think it out and decide, is this really what I want? Is this person for me? And I think you know the answer is yes. And you got the Wheel of Fortune here, which is indicative of good, good fortune, good things happening for you. You're wishing and fantasizing. But there was a heartbreak. I don't know if you broke your own heart, you broke somebody else's heart, you broke a third person's heart, somebody's heart was broken. But you know you're supposed to be with your soulmate. And you want to give them your cup. You want to give them this relationship. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. I think that this is the way that you are feeling about your person. You're feeling trapped in your own head, in your own thoughts. You want to act on this how many cups we got down here oh a thousand you want to act on this there goes the train it's like my cousin Vinny. You, you seen that movie it's my house <laughs> anyway i think you want to act on the cups you want to have this relationship you want to do it but you're trapped in your head and you're feeling stuck and bound and like you can't make a move. Get out of your head, Libra. All right, tell me more about Libra's person. Tell me more about Libra's person. The King of Wands. This is stability, this is nurturing, this is, this is solid, Libra. And what is the final outcome for the week of November 1st through the 8th for Libra? That's a long train, still going. <laughs> Knight of Wands. So you want to you want to bring this to this person definitely. You just I think you're overthinking. Um, oops. I think you're overthinking and maybe a little fearful to take action. You're stuck in your head. But I think you, you really want this. Yeah, you see this person as the star. This person makes you feel good. You don't get this with anybody else. This is your person, Libra. Go get your damn person. All right. Let's get a final word for the week of November 1st through the 8th from our... I have got butterfingers like crazy over here. You see this? For the week of November 1st through the 8th for... The beautiful Libra. I think maybe you're a little afraid since you had that third party thing going on that, you know, if you reach out to your star, you're going to wind up with a heartbreak. It's like a chance, right? All right, what's the final result for the week of November 1st through the 8th for Libra?
Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. So, you know, Libra, nothing is 100%. Nothing is written in stone. Life is a mystery. Like, it could turn out a couple of different ways. You know what I mean? Nobody has all the answers. But it's looking good, you know, it's looking very good. It's your soulmate. Go get your person, Libra. All right, that's what I got for you for the week of November 1st through the 8th. You can subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. You can follow me on Instagram at ScorpioCat underscore tarot. The cat is with a K. And um, I'll see you next week and we'll dive deeper into your cards and see what you got going on. All right. Be blessed and have a great week. Bye, Libra.